hey what's up guys welcome to the new video and today i will be explaining you how um, you can add some texture on uh, zbrush okay so let's make a simple band here in rhino okay i already have a section here okay and uh, which is around uh, 8 by one and a half or 8 by one two millimeter I guess so let's quickly check the dimension yeah it's 8 by 2 and I'm gonna move this here and let's do a sweep one all right so if you guys know if you can you know uh, if you have rebuild your ID you can also you know add some uh, shape to it but for now we just gonna keep this as our default uh, band okay and uh, we're gonna export this in OBG okay so if you uh, if you are exporting the OBJ these are the parameter you have to take care of okay and uh, just press ok alright so now we are into uh, ZBrush and this is our band over here okay now if you are new to ZBrush I'm not gonna explain much into detail but I'll just explain you a few things make sure if this line is visible that means you can rotate into the ZBrush alright so F is to focus and T is to toggle between the edit mode okay so we are now into edit mode alright so just import the object and you can do F and T okay and quickly I'm going to move over to Dynamesh option here so what is Dynamesh? Dynamesh is uh, the mesh the number of meshes we're gonna refresh this model with so I'm going to do um, Dynamesh of around 500 uh, 500,000 points so I'm just gonna do 500 and going to hit with the polish option dynamic option on okay so you can see now the active point is around more than 500,000 all right okay so if you switch off this you know you almost your your band almost looks like the way it should you know when you import it or what you have made in short the edges they are sharp okay all right so once you have this there is an option here a noise which you can select and once you double click on it you can see here that you have the texture on your ring already okay so if this look good to you okay we can uh, go to the surface option here and you can click here apply to mesh right so there you go just change the color and you can see how quickly this has been done all right now some of you may think that I don't really need the texture inside my ring so this is what I would do just undo this process and uh, let me introduce you mask over here okay I'm gonna select a ring mask and uh, just avoid the part where I don't really need the texture to be okay all right so I got the uh, the base part here and if I press control and I if I press on the object itself it's gonna smoothen the uh, selection over here so it's you know it's gradually it's getting deselected all right so that's the uh, good part of uh, the masking in ZBrush and uh, you are good to go so let's select this for instance or this like a rough 
and now if I press apply to mesh you know it's gonna avoid the inside part as you can see over here all right look at this this is so easy okay I'm gonna do undo here I'm gonna select some uh, different texture for example these apply to mesh And there you go. And if you press Control uh, Shift plus S, it's going to take a screenshot of your uh, current texture, right? So you can always change that. Apply to mesh. Look at this. This is so amazing. Okay. For some reason, I had my texture underneath my ring, but let's see if it really did the... Yes, it did. Okay. So I need to figure out why. <laughs> we are very much in control yeah in control of the mask here so we shouldn't have uh, the texture applied on the mesh over there okay okay we can look into this later on but these are the options and uh mask by noise you can even do a mask by noise on your object and you can uh, what do you call it you can inflate this detail so you can see here we got the same texture and everything but this time the the inside part is is safe here okay so we don't really have to uh, worry about it So, change this to white here, take a screenshot, undo the process, select some other, or you can, you know, try to, uh, uh, try to change or work from here itself. Let's say you need a, a rough finishing. You just press OK and there you go you have it here okay apply to mesh or mask by noise you have both these option and it will do the uh, same process okay undo go back here uh, you can import some more with the uh, noise plugging option for example, the cheetah. Okay, plugin scale, the strength. It's okay. Okay, this is this is not that visible, so we can edit this. And you can uh, play with the parameters. Okay. Yep. There you go. Again, the same option, you can um, do a 
masking and do the uh, inflation here or you can do a voice versa but when you do an inflate make sure you know you have a clear selection okay something which is dark and not that light just to avoid the uh, the rough texture all right um there you go yeah uh there is a uv option i will be talking about this a bit later and for now you can you know try some uh, other plugins here you can see here or you can use the one which is uh, already integrated uh, I don't know if we can make uh, uh, our own uh, uh, texture but yes you can work with uh, if you have a clear image you can always uh, import a image on your mesh okay so I will update on that as well yeah but for now this is a much easier option okay edit the amount uh, the size Uh, yeah this was obviously from the side that's why you don't see this on the top but once we uh, do a UV it should work fine so for UV you have to go here I'll just show you the uh, quick process a UV master unwrap so this will do the uh, un, uh, unwrapping process okay so I'm gonna try the same uh, process with uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the same process with the uh, UV option so for that I'm gonna go with the very lower um, resolution over here just to make sure you know my computer doesn't crash so and f at times um, it doesn't really update so just undo and uh, just a little touch here okay yeah and uh, yes this should be fine we can just move it back Oh, we can ignore it. it's very minor uh, it's, it's a very minor um, uh, problem there okay so Z script and then we go to the unwrap option over here and uh, if I click here this should be active so as you can see now this is active so there you go you can see now immediately uh, the uh, texture is applied all over the place all right and this is what we want this is what we were looking at and you can do the same thing but yeah this time again uh, as you can see the um, the amount of uh, mesh we have over here it's not really helping us okay so maybe we can just increase a little bit of uh, of uh, mesh over here and try again with the uh, okay as you can see now so this is off right and yeah, so we have to go back to unwrap and uh, let's hope you know it doesn't get crash because it does happen it does happen sometimes that if you have a higher amount of uh, resolution 
and when you do a unwrap UV it crashes all right so here yeah there you go we have it applied and then uh, yeah much better much better I would say and uh, you can apply too much but yeah it's still lacking the information we can just do a mask over here okay mask and then inflate option so for smaller texture it won't really help because you know you need to have um, a higher amount of um, what do you call it a resolution or the mesh so but with mask we should be able to get the uh, details all right so that's it guys i hope this helped then i gave you some idea on how to make such a band and yes i believe i can still go a bit higher on the resolution and i would play with the uh with the uh with the mask option you know i would go with um what do you call it cancel i would go mask by noise instead of going apply to more uh, apply to mask and this way i can um, inflate it down a bit so this will uh, give us give me a clear idea of uh, how i can control it okay so mask again i'm doing a mask by noise and again if you don't want this part to be uh, disturb or you don't really need anything over here you can mask it okay and uh, we go here in deformation and do we do an inflate okay so inflate is the one which is helping us to uh, get the texture raised how much we want yes so that's it this is this is with the uh, this is with the option we were looking at and uh, I hope this video was informative if yes please like the video subscribe to my channel and join the group on Facebook so I can answer you all your questions thank you very much and have a nice day bye